do we need another event to be providing us with stuff to get excited about? Because Clock was dead like four years ago, wasn't it? It was done. Let's take a look at the Clock world record and go from there. So here's the deal, right? I'm gonna, we're gonna look at this and then we're gonna, we are gonna have to mute it because language people. This video is not safe for work official. I hope you all enjoyed my um, inspirational, um, wholesome version of this. But watch this, all right? Watch this right here. Don't blink. Don't blink. There it is. 1.97 seconds and a tactical mute by me. That is the that is the new world record. We've officially gone sub two. I people are requesting the wholesome one. Okay, sure. Okay, here's the wholesome. Here's the wholesome version. Oh my gosh, yay, I did it. Oh my gosh, oh, oh. sub two, I did it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I can't believe it, I did it. Oh so my happy gosh, and you guys were. Oh, hey, judge, would you please flip that? Oh, yeah. He was so polite. Oh, the way he asked gosh. the judge to flip that over was very me, polite. Best friends. Oh my gosh, I did it. Just sharing I did this, it. Sub sharing this special hey. moment with his friends. I can't believe you were here with me. Friends are so friend. supportive. Now, watch this, though, watch this, watch this. Oh my gosh, you were all here. You were all here. I've got to text my mom. I've got to text my mom. Let's mom know. Let's mom know. What a good Lad. Oh, what a good I lad. Love this to see that. Clock world record single. Cracked, right? We've we've gone past sub two. That's great. Congratulations to Brandon. Massive congratulations to you on that. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, okay? Clock is now same to si similar with some events, okay? And I don't know how many events you reckon this 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 um applies to, but I like I'm just feeling, I'm feeling as though some events must be getting close to the limits of human achievement. And we keep, we keep saying that, you know, the 3.47 was one of those. Every clock record seems to be one of those. We're just like, this is the limit. It can't get much better than this without a lucky scramble, but then it does. So that's led me to think, well, at each time we see a new world record, it's, it's tighter and tighter and tighter and things are tightening up. Do we need a new event so that we can start all this again somewhere? we're fresh. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, do we, before things become unachievable and we literally lock all the WRs at the peak of, of human achievement, all that stuff, like if we, before we get to that point, do we need another event to be providing us with stuff to get excited about? Because Clock was dead like four years ago, wasn't it? It was done. It was done until the Chi came out. Hardware saved Clock in my opinion, as a casual observer of clock. And the same is about to happen, I think, with FTO. We're about to have a bunch of new FTO models. There's a Chi and a Diane FTO about to come out. And Dian Sheng, God bless him, are putting money behind FTO, right? Plus, remember back to our conversation with Kit Clement. Kit Clement spoke to the fact that the FTO does tickle a lot of boxes for a new event in the WCA. I feel like it's going to be added. Like it's been 10 years since we had a new event. The last one was Skew. With the flow now making the point that Gan revived Mirror and with Chi making magnetic ones as well, then we might see that. There are points that Kit made that would mean that Mirror it will have a harder time. We will have FTO in the WCA before we have Mirror. Like absolutely, absolutely. Curious Nick official Timmy, welcome. Curious Nick reckons that it will be added in 2026. I assume you're talking about FTO. And I think everyone's on that on that train as well. And that's why I called today's stream. Shoot, what did I call it? Oh, time to take this event seriously. It's it's time to take FTO seriously. It's time to learn it because, well, we're, we might already be too late. People have been solving FTO for years and years and years. But I think if you want to get ahead of the game locally, potentially, I think now is the time to learn it because it's hugely popular. Companies are making it. Companies are taking it seriously. Dian Sheng is putting money into it, which is the next point I'm going to come to. Let's look at that now. Let's look at that now. Let's go to Cuber's live YouTube channel. Are you ready? for the FTO Melee. Bro, relax. The FTO Melee. Cuba's Live, Jian Shang, and Speed Cube Shop. Catch Never heard Aiden of them. Brian, Tyler Hicks, Michael Larson, and Dan Pashishkov in a head-to-head -head bracket against four other competitors who will qualify at Bay Area Speed Cubing 64. It's our man. We will from be competing for a chance to win $450 in cash prizes that has been generously FTO provided WR by Dian Holder? Sheng. The joint. If you are going you to the event, the Dian Sheng will also be providing FTO records in there. for their FTO, yeah. Gigamings, and 9x9 puzzles. 
You can catch the broadcast live on the Speed Cube Shop, West Coast Cubing, and Cubers Live YouTube channel. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Shut up, everyone. Shut up. There's just there's too much happening at once here. Okay, so what did we miss? Uh, I totally spoke over the person whose name I forgot. Um, but they're talking about what Dian Sheng's doing. Like they're giving a bunch of stuff away and they're supporting um, programs like this. I also love what I'm seeing behind our, our friend here. This is Manu, isn't it? We're seeing brackets here, okay? Which is cool. I love this. Head to head, watchable, accessible. Love that. Uh, I'm excited to watch it. We will be competing for a chance to win $450 in cash. Ca cash money. Cash money. You can win cash with FTO, right? So yeah, cash 450 prizes. bucks in that cash. Has been generously provided by Dian Sheng. That is generous. If you are going to the event, Dian Sheng will also be providing giveaways for their FTO, Gigamings, and 9x9 puzzles. So they're you can catch some expensive puzzles. Live on the Speed Cube Shop, West Coast Cubing, and Cubers Live YouTube channels. Who are you going to be rooting for? It's going to be triple cast on three different YouTube channels. Love that. The winner of the FTO Melee gets ultimate writing rights. And you know they're in it to win it. So, who's gonna want the prize more? Tune in September 8th to find out. September 8th, that's in, that's this weekend. All right, let's unpack, let's unpack. Let's just um, let's just take a step back. Does it take much to learn FTO and all this? I don't know, I don't know. Is uh, People are speculating on how it is to solve. I don't know, I've not solved one yet, but I am considering learning. Like, I think I need to learn to solve one. I've been on it, some of my delegates here in a nice way, in a constructive, encouraging way going, people, friends, there is money on the table here. Like Dian Sheng are actually offering money and prizes for you to run FTO as an unofficial event at your comp. Maybe we should do that. I've sold a lot of FTOs here in New Zealand already. I've talked about this already. It's sold faster than any flagship 3x3 I've ever had. And that's remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. I don't know if you've seen that. Jaden, can you comment on that? Like, how have sales gone for, for FTO? I'm quite happy to tell anyone listening that it has outsold any flagship 3x3 that I've ever had, which is is crazy. So what was my point? Learn FTO, get free money. Dian Sheng, I love what they're doing. I don't know much about Dian Sheng as a company. I don't particularly like their cubes, if I'm honest. Like they're not very good in my opinion. So I haven't really stocked them. They've never been popular here. They do make good yo-yos. I'll give them that. But I love this collaboration that I'm seeing. I love this collaboration. Cubers Live, West Coast Cubing. Is that Matthew? Matthew, is that you're involved with that? Mango saying, I don't know the exact numbers, but we do sell a lot of them, right? Okay, checks out. What was I saying? West Coast, Cubers Cubers Live and the other one, Speed Cube Shop. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other one. Young, young upstart little YouTube channel, Speed Cube Shop. I don't know if you've heard of them. They're all collaborating. They're all simulcasting it, it sounds like. So yeah. Oh yeah, Cube Pianist su suggesting I should... Uh... Well, no, because I don't... Okay, well, I don't think their FTO is as good as it could be. It's the best one available, but it's still... It does like to explode. Cube Pianist in the chat saying, okay, you can say Dian Sheng Cube suck, but maybe say FTO is good. Yeah, I probably should. I, it's, it's good that they made one. It's great. I love that they made one. I love that they made... Love that they made an FTO. I love it. It does explode. There is that. Dylan Miller is in the chat and used to be sponsored by Dianjing. I did not know that. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty much it. I will say as well, because Dylan's here as well, and Dylan talks a lot about cubing. I've I've been sort of reassessing my my place in cubing in New Zealand as a sponsor of competitions. And I've not really <clears throat> I've realized I've been guilty of neglecting the people who work the hardest. Because for a while I used to do things like medals. And essentially what would happen is I would just hang 10 medals on Dwayne Ramos's neck, right? Because he would just clean up. If, if I'm going to like, I need to kind of have some integrity and stand by the things that I've said in terms of thinking three by three is the, is the main event. We should support that. People don't want gift cards or cubes. They want cash. So I'm like, I'm, I'm looking now at some competitions that are coming up and, and I'm looking at whether I should be playing my part in putting some cash up. I don't really have much. So that's a thing. But I'm like, certainly for nationals anyway, absolutely for nationals. And I need to, that's a collaborative sponsorship between me and another store called Mindplay. So I'll talk to Josh who runs Mindplay and talk about what we're doing for that. Because we used to do cash one year. Like, I don't think we have done cash at nationals for a while. I certainly haven't ever, but I feel like I should be. And I think certainly in three by three, I should be thinking about cash in the podium. So anyway, that's where my head's been at. Dylan just reminded me. 